Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and as you can see I'm working on a 6 by 12 layout and that means that this one is for whales and this was when I arrived in Conwy. One of, one of the first things I did was as you approach the castle, the castle walls actually start before <laughs> the main castle and so I was able to go up on top of the castle walls and just look out over the bay here and it looks gorgeous so this is looking one way this is looking the other way you can actually see the corner of the castle right here and these are the train tracks where I came into town and then when you take off you go right through there which is pretty cool so I have all my photos I need a pocket card for this pocket and I'm thinking green initially because there's a lot of blue happening and just a little bit of green peeking out in some spots and I like that there's open space here. I'm wondering if I can find an acrylic piece or maybe a wood veneer piece that might go right here in the center. Don't know what that would be or even here. It might even work in the sky, but it would be nice to have kind of a bigger element if I can find one that's appropriate. I have so much travel stuff. I don't even remember all what I have. So hopefully there's something in there. Well, I looked in my bin first that was specifically for Ireland and Wales, and I didn't see any acrylics in there that would really go with what I've ha got happening here. And so I have pulled out this pouch of just general travel stuff, and it's a mix of cork and acrylic pieces and some wood veneer. So I'm going to look through all of that and see if there's anything in there that might work for here or here. Well, I don't know that I have found anything in the acrylics or just words that would work for this. I thought potentially maybe this one that says picture perfect, but the sparkly silver look to it just does not work. It blends in too much, just the color doesn't look good. I didn't realize this when I bought it, but I think the only way I'm really going to be able to use this is if I have a super dark background, like maybe a dark sunset photo or a night shot with something lit up in the background something like that I think would be better for this so it's not gonna work here and I love these sayings but they're not the right colors for what I have going here so that's not going to work I do like this one because it's white however I feel like it's so big and would take up everything like that the way that I would have to space it I would lose stuff from the photo that I want so I don't think that's going to work either these are way too big holy cow it'd be like the entire photo so that's out so that doesn't leave me with a lot so i think what i'm going to do is look through here my wood veneer because i haven't done that yet and then i also pulled this which is a mostly chipboard elements with some tags and things mixed in that might have something on there i'm not sure i don't remember what's all even on these but it was in my travel bin so i'm willing to give it a whirl all right, I think I may have found something in here that works. I like this one. I love that it's circular too. It breaks up all of the different angles that are happening here. I love that it's got green on it because I definitely wanted to work in green and it works to put it right in the middle there. You don't really lose anything by doing that, which I love. You can still see the land over here. You can see the castle and the railroad tracks over here, which is awesome. And it still leaves me an option to do something on this photo. If I did, I've decided it would probably be on the right hand side because there's just this wall here that doesn't really do anything for the photo, whereas the sky is beautiful. So I could do something over here, hang something off the edge, but I also need to pick out this card because that may determine what else I do. I'm also willing to switch this photo to this pocket if it works better to have my card over here because depending on what's on here, I may not want to hang something off the edge. So this is the challenge of pocket pages, is figuring out how it's all going to align and come together. Well, I think I have found the card that I want to use. Ta-da! And it has both green and blue, and actually two different shades of blue, which is awesome. It really brings everything together, I think. But I do love that it's got a little bit of green in it. It's pretty close to that. I think they all work nicely together. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I will leave it in this pocket. When I see this on there, I definitely like it better over here. And then it does give me the option to do something on the right hand side. So there should be a nice balance there. I technically could put something in here too, but I don't think I would. I think I would leave it 
I like the diagonal lines and the and the blue blocking there. I don't know. There's something about it that I like, so I think I'll leave it alone. I could change my mind after I have everything else going, but I don't know. We'll see. In that same package of wood veneers, I have this, and I'm thinking about possibly just putting that kind of up here on the side, but... I don't know that I want it to be super matchy-matchy, so I'm still going to look through here and see if there's any kind of tag or little embellishment item thing that I could just hang off the edge. I still like the idea of having something green, if possible. Those are all chipboard. But I know I have other, yeah, other tags in here like these. I'm going to look through there and just see if I have anything that's doable. I found two things in this package of stuff that I might use. I have this, which is just a patterned stripe, little flag here, and it's not exactly the same green, but I really like the contrast, and so I may use that, and I don't know, I'd still probably have to layer something over it, I just don't know what that would be, maybe a phrase sticker or something, but I do like the color a lot, and then this was also in there, which certainly is closer to these greens that you see, and I could put it right here and have it hang over the edge and I can stamp something in there. And I do like that idea that it would just poke out of the pocket a little bit and live over here. And then maybe I could do a little cluster around it. I can't really add both of these. They don't look good together. So I'll have to think about that more, but I do like both of these. I'm not totally sold on using either one of them, so I'll continue looking, but at least I have those as options. So I found something that isn't necessarily travel related. It was in my generic stuff, but I might want to use it. I like this one right here that says me time. It definitely was. This was a solo trip day. I loved being up there just by myself. I didn't have to talk to anybody. I could just look out at that view, think my own thoughts, process it in my own way. So I really am liking that. And I'm wondering if I keep this those match pretty well. I could layer them and hopefully that would work together. Now, those aren't the same green, obviously, but again, could I get away with it? It's not too far off from this. I think maybe I could. Okay, I've attached that. So now I'm gonna take out this puffy sticker here. These are from Citrus Twist, by the way. So if you like those, that's where I got them. No idea if they're still available, but that is where I got them. So, and as you can see, I haven't used any of these yet, so. I love it that I actually get to use one. So if I were gonna overlap it, I could do it just like that, kind of right in the middle. Yeah, there we go. And I think it works nicely that, that out of the way there, we don't need that. It works nicely that I have two circular elements here as well. So they look like they go together. Now, seeing that, it makes me think like I do want a visual triangle. So since I have these, I need to have something probably over here. So I don't know what I could hang off of there that would make that all come together, but we'll see what I can find. I've decided maybe to go with something gray over here. I pulled out a bunch of my phrase stickers that I have and these were in there and there are several on here that would work and so I'm contemplating taking one of these and actually covering up where it says date if it will fit in there I think it will they look pretty close don't they I think so so I may cover that up because I don't need every layout to say the date many layouts will have them so it will be clear the only other option is if I decided I wanted to keep that for some reason I could layer it right below but I do think it'll be one of these I chose to use the one that says it's a beautiful day and seeing that it makes me want to try to find some gray hearts or enamel dots that I can sprinkle around here in some way I don't know that it would work up here but maybe around this just to bring in some of that so I'm gonna go on the hunt for those next well it turns out I don't have a lot of gray enamel dots or puffy dots or anything like that but I did find these these are little rhinestones they're gray they're faceted and sparkly a little bit and the color is pretty close I think and so I think I'm just going to take some of these smaller ones and figure out how to move those around the page a little bit to bring in some extra bling I actually did three of those little rhinestones over here. I had one on the lens of the camera 
to try to bring it together, but I didn't like the way it looked. It looked weird to me, and then I felt like I need I would need to have a visual triangle for that too, and there's really nowhere to put one up there. So I just decided to take it off. So let me know, does it look weird just to have it down here? overlapping the little banner thing in that corner or is it okay I can always remove them later or add but I think I'm gonna leave it as is so here's the top pocket love that wood veneer middle pocket with just the sticker added and then all of this so here's another one done for whales thanks for watching